Hello, everyone. So I've got an article from Electric. Uh, Tesla Model S and X were spotted with the new hardware 4.0 suite of cameras. Uh, a couple of Tesla Model S and X vehicles have been spotted with the new hardware 4.0 cameras. As we previously reported, Tesla has been, par been preparing an upgrade to its autopilot self-driving hardware for a bit now. Most notably, Tesla filed with the FCC to add a new radar on its vehicles and said that it planned to start marketing it in January. A new radar would mean that Tesla plans to update its sensor suite for autopilot and self-driving. We have also heard that automaker is changing its cameras according to a filing with Chinese regulators. Finally, Tesla is expected to produce a new self-driving computer to merge all those new sensors into a more powerful computing platform. Last week, we reported on a teardown of this new hardware 4.0 computer. As Tesla appears to have started installing it in some cars, the kilowatts on Twitter went to Fremont factory to see if it could spot some of those new vehicles being built with the latest hardware. And sure enough, he found some. So the kilowatts here have posted some pictures on Twitter. So there's the side view fender camera. It's got this, this red tinge that I don't know if that's part of the camera or just a reflection, but it's only showing on in on these new cameras. Here are side-by-side -side pictures of the new on the left with the red and old on the right. Cameras starting with the fender camera. So you can see the even change the angle that you mentions here. For this one, it appears that Tesla changed the angle quite a bit. It now seems to face toward the side a lot more than toward the back. As for the B-pillar camera, it looks like Tesla just updated the camera itself. The placement and angle looks similar. See, I think that's part of the camera, this red backing or whatever it is. The front facing camera enclosure has changed quite a bit. As we previously reported, it is supposed to now have only two cameras rather than three, but it's not clear from this angle. And as for the rear camera next to the plate, it looks like it has moved just a bit. The kilowatts picture on this one gives the best look at the new camera, which appears to be just slightly bigger than the old one. The kilowatts also couldn't find any camera in the headlights or bumpers, which is expected to be part of the new hardware suite. The computer that leaked showed that Tesla is planning to increase the number of cameras from 8 to 11. He also took some pictures of the new rear end of the Model S and X with updated badging. So here's the Model S. Now it's got a plaid badge. The Model X. with very little badging on the back. Plaid badge. I haven't seen uh, this black trim with the chrome Tesla before, so I guess that's new. You couldn't find any Model 3 or Model Y vehicles at the factory with the new hardware. As we previously reported, it's not clear when Tesla plans to make the new hardware for official, but the timing of the March 1st investor date makes it a likely contender for an official announcement. We could know a lot more about it in just a week. So cool to see the new cameras for hardware 4 on uh, some S's and X's. Man, I got another update. My dad emailed me and said that uh, ski now has an electric snowmobile. My dad is a huge snowmobile fan and has always been a ski fan. So he updated me right away that ski has a electric snowmobile offering in their 2024 lineup. So I had to check it out. So here's ski website with the grand touring electric snowmobile. So I went to see what they were offering. So from what I found out on the website here, you can't buy one yet. <clears throat> you can only uh, go on a tour 
explore Uncharted Society. It's a company that Skidoo has partnered with to offer tours with this electric snowmobile. So if you want to try it out, that, that's the only way to do it. You can't buy one. You can only schedule a tour with this company. It says the range is around 50 kilometers. It's got level two charging. My best guess is, it's a, is that it's a J1772 style connection. I couldn't, I watched the little video here and it was, they were plugging it in, but it was hard to tell exactly what style it was. Cool to see, but still a long way to go, I think, before we see a lot of electric snowmobiles on the trails. Uh, I've done a lot of snowmobiling in Ontario and I know it'd be tough to charge up your snowmobile while going on a long tour, which something my dad loves to do is go on long tours on a snowmobile. So if the range is only 50 kilometers, that's not going to work for someone like my dad. And even if it was a longer range, there, the infrastructure would make it tough to charge up a snowmobile while out there on a tour. So I think that's why Skidoo partnered with this company to offer tours is most likely they'll install a level two charger at their home base and they'd go for a tour, come back and charge it. Yeah, cool to see that Skidoo is getting into the electric vehicle game as well. So yeah, that's my update on uh, the Hardware 4 and the electric snowmobile. My name's Evan Bertrand. This is the Evergreen Channel. Thanks for watching.